get it on the first guess. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it cool? It's an apothecary table. <gasps> wow. Oh, you could just imagine that this is where they kept all the stuff to make their potions. Ooh. You know? Yes. Ooh. You can almost smell the opium. <laughs> Almost. Oh, how much was it? Just only 500 bucks. 500 bucks at a flea market? Oh, okay, see, I thought, I thought you meant how much was it when it was new, you know, like back then. Oh, no, yeah, no. I mean, it was at a flea market, so it was, you know, it was like a dollar. A dollar? And 50? So, you know, like, it was like one and 50 dollars. Oh, okay, oh, they gave you the old-time pricing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can't decide whether it would go better next to the new wicker dining chair, the Sahara desk, or the Parker console table. Wow, I didn't know there was a pottery barn up here. <laughs> I know, I know, I went a little crazy. A little? Your place looks like page 72 of the catalog. <laughs> oh, look at that. The ornamental birdcage, large. <laughs> hey. hey. Oh, Ross, no, be careful, that is very old. Okay, early colonial bird merchants used to bring their birds to market in there. Fascinating. <gasps> Another amazing find. Oh. Wow. Oh, I bet this has a great story, too. It does, it does. It is a room-separating apparatus from colonial time. Oh. Huh. A lot of this stuff is from the colonial times. Hey, what are some other time periods, Rachel? <laughs> Well, there's your. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, yesteryear. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, Rachel has such a good eye for this stuff. Ross, you know, if you ever decide to redecorate, and I think that you should, you should, you should ask Rachel to help. Oh, honey, he doesn't need my help. <laughs> Come on, I think he's ready to get rid of the, what'd you call it, the um, cheap knockoffs and dinosaur junk. <laughs> Really? Hey, you know what? Since you have such a great sense of what I need, uh, oh, here's here's sixty bucks. Why don't you take Phoebe down to that colonial uh, flea market of yours and get me some stuff? You know what? I don't. I don't really think Phoebe wants to come. No, I do want to. Oh, she does want to. She does want to. Yeah. <laughs> Say, I guess the flea market was just better last time. Yeah. Well, at least I got these sheets for Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, look at this pottery barn. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, you know what? Don't look at it. <laughs> Seriously, don't look at it. No, look, look. look, there's the coffee table they stole from us. Oh, those bastards. Let's go. <laughs> that fan kind of looks like ours, and the bird cage, and. Wait a second, this is our exact living room. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. Come on. Maybe ours is totally different. I mean, we don't have the we don't have the we don't have that lamp. And and that screen is, you know, on the other side. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is where you got all our stuff? Pottery barn. Oh my god. Okay, no, come on. Oh, you did, all right? I'm sorry. I just Phoebe, I wanted this stuff and I know how you feel about pottery. Barns. It's just, come on, don't be mad. No, 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 but I am mad. I am mad because this stuff is everything that is wrong with the world, and it's all sitting up in my living room. And all I can think about is how I don't have that lamp. <laughs> but then, honey, buy the lamp. Hey, we have that 60 bucks from Ross. <laughs> Are you saying that, that you would move out if, if I didn't buy that lamp? Well, no, I'm not going to move out. What are you saying that you would move out if I didn't buy that lamp? <laughs> oh, yes, I would so move out. Okay, then I don't have a choice. I have to buy that lamp. That's right. <laughs> but at least the apothecary table's real. <laughs> hey, hey, you're not going to believe this. I made up a joke and sent it into Playboy. They printed it. <laughs> I didn't know Playboy prints jokes. Yeah, they print jokes, uh, interviews, hard-hitting journalism. It's not just about the pictures. If it didn't work on Mom, it's not going to work on us. 
Well, well, here, check it out. It's it's the first one, too. Right there. <laughs> that is funny. It was also funny when I made it up. What? I made that joke up. Uh, oh, oh, um, no, you didn't. I did. Uh, uh, oh, yes, I did. I told it to Dan at work, and he said it was the funniest joke he'd ever heard. Hey, tell Dan thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I was just reading the joke below it. Man, that one is funny. <laughs> Monica, you, you remember me telling you that joke, right? No. Seriously? Well, you tell a lot of jokes. <laughs> Look, Chandler, it's my joke. But, uh, hey, if, if it makes you feel any better, they don't print the name. So it doesn't really matter who gets credit, right? Yeah, I guess. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Joey, joke. Playboy printed my joke. What? No, 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 it's mine. It's my joke. You can call them. They'll tell you. It's my joke. It's my joke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Jokes? You guys know they have naked chicks in there, right? <laughs> you know, you forget how many great songs Hart had. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Barracuda was the first song I learned to play on the keyboard. So you heard it, you repeated it, so that must mean you wrote it. <laughs> oh, you guys, with this joke. Look, I gotta say, I know I cracked up, but I, I'm not even sure I got it. You didn't get it? The doctor is a monkey. <laughs> and monkeys can't write out prescriptions. <laughs> you are not allowed to laugh at my joke. It's my joke. It's my joke. It's my, my joke. joke. <laughs> you know, I don't think we're going to settle this. <laughs> Let's have Monica decide. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Mon! Mon, get out of here! Monica! Okay, okay. You have to help us decide whose joke this is. Why do I have to decide? Because you're the only one that can be fair. Yeah. I can't be fair. You're my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, but I'm your brother. We're family. That's the most important thing in the world. <laughs> Don't try to sway her. I'm your only chance to have a baby. <laughs> Okay, let's go. All right. Um, okay, we'll we'll each tell you um, how we came up with the joke, and then you decide which one of us is telling the truth. Me. Chandler, you go first. Okay. I thought of the joke two months ago at lunch with Steve. Oh wait, is he the guy that I met at Christmas? Can I finish my story? Do you want me to pick you? <laughs> See, I would never snap at you like that. <laughs> Okay, so Steve said he had to go to the doctor, and Steve's doctor's name is Dr. Mumpy. So I said, Dr. Monkey, and that is how the whole Dr. Monkey thing came up. Are you kidding? <laughs> okay, look, I, I study evolution. Remember? Evolution, monkey into man. Plus, I'm a doctor, and I had a monkey. <laughs> I'm not arguing with that. All right, I've heard enough. I have made my decision. Okay, oh, so I'm not okay. Let me tell. You are both idiots. The joke is not funny, and it's offensive to women, and doctors, and monkeys. All right, you shouldn't be arguing over who gets credit. You should be arguing over who gets blamed for inflicting this horrible joke upon the world. Now let it go. The joke sucks. <laughs> It's your joke. It is not. <laughs> okay, Rage, that's muffin and espresso, 450, Ross, double latte, 275, Chandler, coffee and scone, 425, and Phoebe's herbal tea, $1.25. So, all together, that's 1275. This is coming from the man who couldn't split our $80 phone bill in half. Hi. Hi. How much do I have for the muffin and latte? Oh, no, that's on the house, courtesy of Joey Tribbiani. Oh, great. Well, tell him thanks. And since uh, Joey seems like such a nice guy, maybe we could go on a date sometime. Well, he's not used to women being so forward, but uh, 
I could check with him. He says it's okay. <laughs> Great, thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, Joey, how come our stuff isn't free? It will be when you look like that in a tight skirt. <laughs> okay, here are the tips for this morning. Mm. Jan gets 50, 50 for me, and Joey owes $8. <laughs> what? For all the free food you gave away. Well, if it's free food, how come you're charging me for it? <laughs> We don't give anything away unless it's someone's birthday. Hmm. Well, what if they came in third in a modeling contest? No. Hmm. Sorry. I... <laughs> That'll be three eighty-five. What do you mean? Yesterday you said I was too pretty to pay for stuff. It's just I can't because my manager said that. I... Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Annie. Amy. Amy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hey. Hey, that's weird. Today's my birthday, too. Yeah, not in here, it isn't. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> You're paying for that. What? No, 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 it's her birthday. You've sung happy birthday to 20 different women today. But it really... You are no longer authorized to distribute birthday muffins. <laughs> Damn it! This is my favorite part. Yeah, me too. Oh, you know what's sadder than this? Bambi. I cried for three days with that movie. No, wait, two. Because on the third day, my mother killed herself, so I was partly crying for that. <laughs> Well, see, now, that I can see crying over, but Bambi is a cartoon. You didn't cry when Bambi's mother died? Yes, it was very sad when the guy stopped drawing the deer. <laughs> you know, Chandler, there's nothing wrong with crying. You don't have to be so macho all the time. You're macho? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, I guess I just never really cried, you know? I'm not a crying kind of guy. Come on, man. There's got to be something that gets you choked up. Like, uh, uh, what if you saw a three-legged puppy? I'd be sad, sure, but I wouldn't cry. Okay, uh, what if the puppy said, help me, Chandler? <laughs> All the other puppies pick on me. Cry? I just found a talking puppy. I'm rich. Oh, I've got it. I have got it. Pictures from your childhood. Uh, this will get you going good. <laughs> All right, what's going on there? Oh, that's parents' day, first grade. That's me with the, the janitor, Martin. Where are your parents? Oh, they didn't want to come. Oh, Chandler, poor thing. So that story doesn't make you cry? No, look, I don't cry. It's not a big deal, okay? No, it's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay at all. You're dead inside! Hey, sweetie. Hey! Chicken soup for the soul? There's no back to this couch. Why are you reading this? You hate this kind of stuff. Yeah, I know. Well, I figured I'd give it a shot, you know? I mean, maybe one of those stories would make me cry, and then you wouldn't think I was, you know, all dead inside. Oh, that's so sweet. Chandler, I don't care if you can't cry. I love you. Oh, that makes me feel so warm in my hollow tin chest. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. No, I mean, come on, seriously. Think about it. We get married, I'm up at the altar, and I'm like this. I won't care, because I know that you'll be feeling it all in here. Yeah? Yeah. And if, and if we have a baby one day, and the doctor hands it to you in the delivery room, and you don't cry, so what? And, and, if, and if we take him to college and we come home and, and we see his empty room for the first time, and you got nothing, won't matter to me. OK. Well, I won't uh, worry about this anymore, then. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, if I die <laughs> from a long illness, and you're writing out my eulogy, and you open the desk drawer, and you, you find a note from me that says, I will always be with you. 
and you still can't shed one tiny tear? I know you'll be crying a river inside. Oh, I love you so What is wrong with you? <laughs> what? Why? You can't shed a tear for your dead wife? Now, I left you a note from the beyond. So you didn't mean any of that? No, you robot! <laughs> God, are, are you crying? I just don't see why those two can't work things out. Look, sorry about that Archie thing. You, uh, you need me to give you some money? Hey, I may have no money, but I still have my pride. Really? Yeah. Maybe Joey doesn't have to give you the money. TV stars have assistants, right? That's an idea. Hey, if I hire an assistant, would you take money from her? <laughs> Joey, Chandler could be your assistant. See, you could answer all your fan mail and stuff. That's great. That would be great. Let's do that. I could use some money. It could give me time to write. All right, great. Welcome aboard. OK. All right. Now, hey, I need to use the bathroom. Since I don't need any assistance in there, take a break. All right. <laughs> hey, there you are. Uh-oh, it's my boss. <laughs> all right. Here's a list of things for you to do today. Man, okay. this is going to be so great. Thank you so much. All right, I gotta go to work. I'm delivering twins today, but only one of them is mine. <laughs> Drop off my dry cleaning, pick up my vitamins, teach me how to spell vitamins, <laughs> wear in my new jeans. You realize what you are, don't you? What? You're his bitch. <laughs> Here's the freshly squeezed orange juice you asked for. Thanks. Hi. Yeah, there's pulp in that. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Thought we talked about this. I don't like pulp. No pulp. Pulp isn't juice. All juice. Okay? I'm sorry. I guess I just like the pulp. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I am being so rude. <sighs> Rachel, would you like a soda or something? <laughs> Because Chan will run right out and get it. Yeah, well, sure. Iced tea would be great. Okay. Iced tea. <laughs> okay. Anything for you, sir? Shouldn't I not just tell him? <laughs> okay, look, Chandler, if this is gonna work, you have got to listen. You're gonna throw that juice at me, aren't you? It's not all juice. Hey. Hey. Hey, Jenna, look, I know you're mad, but I just want to say I'm sorry. I, I was a total jerk, completely o over the line. I, I just, I hate pulp. You know? I, you know how Monica feels about low-fat mayonnaise? It's not me! Yeah, okay, well, I, anyway, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. And here, what's this? Fresh squeezed orange juice with pulp, just the way you like it. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs>